Hello friends, it's Rachel here and today I am working on a very special album. This is for Scrapbook Nerd and I am using the stunning The Beautiful Maggie Holmes Round Trip Collection. I am obsessed with this collection. I've worked with it a little bit but not enough and I am starting a series where I am sharing um, my process of how I put together this album. So this is a little bit of a longer video, forgive me. I hope you'll still enjoy it. Some people prefer the longer videos, uh, but we, yeah, this is gonna be in a lot of parts because it's quite a large album. So let me give you a little bit, um, let me give you a little bit background. So this album, it was made during um, Crop and Create, Scrapbook and Cards City Crop, Crop and Create event uh, last year year was it last year already wait no when was it oh no it was in April oh my gosh it was literally just a few months ago why did I say last year anyway <laughs> um yeah so I made this album and it's um it's not necessarily the kinds of colors and papers I love so I made the base of the album and then I figured I can tweak it and make it my own once I know what photos are going in here and that's exactly what I'm doing here you can see I just put that paper on top of that pocket and I'm not going to put it over top of the yellow because it that just seemed like too much work <laughs> and it didn't really bother me enough to do that I think having that floral paper there kind of made it its own and I cut out that tag that I'm going to fill out with some information um, and now I'm going to start with embellishing on the frontier so this is an album from when Cheryl visited me and I love that little ticket ephemera there because it says London and so I thought that was perfect because that's where she was coming from so even though it wasn't going there it was at least coming from there so I thought it kind of made sense and would be fun um, and yeah so she visited me back in May and what I did a little while ago is I put all of the photos into this album and realized that there was not enough room for all of the photos and so I had to add some extra pages of my own which worked out totally fine uh, but you'll see in the coming videos you'll just have to keep watching this series I will make uh, a playlist so that you can um, keep up with this album but um, yeah I feel so we had I think 1,200 photos that we took during that trip together from both of our phones combined. We had a lot of photos um, and I narrowed it down to I think 70 or 75 photos that I printed, which felt great. Um, so which but it still felt like a lot, even though I narrowed it down a lot to my favorites it still felt like there were so many photos. Um, but I made it work and they're all in their places in this album. I just have to do the fun part, which is embellishing. And I have not done the front cover yet because I don't know how that's going to turn out. And also, um, I'm, I kind of am afraid that this album is going to be really chunky so I'm just not going to decorate the front cover yet, but I will get to it. Um, in this album, we did a lot of like flip ups, but I was able to kind of take some of them off to replace some of the paper. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, so it kind of, it all worked out of how, of, you know, adjusting this album a little bit. Um, so we have lots of different photos here. We have, uh, so the first day Cheryl came and flew in from Toronto flew into Toronto not from Toronto oh my gosh my brain today it really feels this week my brain has been been mush I don't know what it is but it feels like it's been mush this week so I apologize for that also I'm not used to doing longer voiceovers I do uh longer voiceovers on my patreon and um there those videos are usually about 20 to 30 minutes long over on patreon um but I usually talk about I ramble about personal stories because you know it's a little bit more of a private group there um so I have stuff to talk about but uh I hope I have enough fun information to fill this entire I think it's like 17 minute video hopefully you won't get too bored um but I have various photos here that aren't in perfect order, but they're in order enough. Um, we have the Tim Hortons that we drank be and ate because it was Cheryl's first time having Tim Hortons. I think it was her first time, but we had a lot of Timmy's uh, while she was here. 
And I actually used those, um, oh my goodness, now I'm forgetting the name of those like block, the tile letters, the tile alphas. Um, I use those a lot throughout these couple of pages and I, I never gravitate towards them because they're just like annoying and chunky and clunky. So I don't usually use them, but I decided to and I love the way it looks. So I hope I'll have enough to kind of go throughout the album, but I'm sure I'll start running out of the tiles. Um, I do have two sticker books though, so hopefully that'll get me through. In the beginning, I kind of showed what I'm working with. I think I have like four ephemera packs. I think this collection comes with three and I have a duplicate. Um, I have the 12 by 12, the 6 by 8, the chipboard, the puffy, two sticker sheet, two sticker books, one sticker sheet. Um, there might be something else. Oh, the um, like the little enamel uh, shapes. So I did kind of simple on this page. I didn't go too crazy. Maybe once I'm finished this album, I'll like go back and add to it. But I do a lot to this pocket page and this this pocket page is my favorite part of the album. So the papers that were for in these pockets, they weren't bad papers. I, di I really didn't, I didn't mind these papers at all. But I was going, I really wanted it all to be matchy-matchy with the round trip collection. I didn't really want to add in other things. Um, so I did cut out papers, but for the other side, you will see that I do use one that it came with. And I think, I think this collection matches pretty well with the papers that are in this album anyway. So I don't know. I would definitely encourage you if you have like an older album you want to revamp or... You made an album that's empty and you don't have pictures in it, but you want to use a different collection. Like, just go for it and experiment and play around and make it your own. Um, I still use, like, the the core of this album, um, but I change a lot. So, yeah, so we stayed in Toronto for the night and um, we had just some really beautiful views. The hotel we stayed in was really beautiful and we um, got to, yeah, just have this beautiful view that I had to take lots of pictures of. I don't know why I printed so many, but I don't know. I guess in the moment I felt like I wanted to. I don't know why that happens, but after I printed all these photos, I'm like, I could have done without like three views of uh, three pictures of views of, from our window. I probably could have just done one or two and been fine, but it's all right. The album will be full of so many lovely memories and that's what is the most important part. It's not like I printed 500 photos um, and also these photos, most of them, um, yeah, almost all of them, most of them are uh, three by four size. So it's not like they're giant anyway. So anyway, um, I'm going to start embellishing here and going with a lot of the black colors. I, I usually, well, not usually, but I sometimes like to make my projects light and airy and white and lots of like white space, like all that stuff. But there's a lot of black accents in these, in this collection and in this, um, these pages. And I love that. I love how it's coming together. The papers and patterns are so cute. Um, I put the word T-O, like Toronto, um, on the right-hand side there, if you can see that. Again, using those tile letters and lots of elements of gold in here as well. Um, I couldn't believe, I, I think I crafted for like 50 minutes, over 50 minutes, um, and I only got a couple pages done. So I'm like, wow, this is going to take a long time. So I was able to cut this footage down to about 17 minutes. Um, and I probably could have cut it more, but I think this will be okay. Um, so yeah, over the next month or two, you'll probably see me here um, on the Scrapbook Nerd YouTube channel and on my personal channel working through the same videos so you don't have to like watch them twice. But uh, I post them in both places at the same time so that wherever you watch them, you can find the video. And on the Scrapbook Nerd website, um, all of, I think most, if not all of these products are available right now. So if you are looking for the round trip collection, they ship internationally. So um, they have most of the products there on the website um, available and in stock, which I haven't seen a lot of, or maybe I just haven't looked but um, I know this has been a pretty popular collection. A lot of people are traveling more these days. Um, so yeah, definitely go check that out. I did get duplicates of some of these things and I'm thinking, oh boy, do I need a few more duplicates? Uh, we'll see how far I get through what I have here. 
Um, again, using those tile alphas, uh, I think I wrote our names, and now I'm working on this side. I had to adjust some things a bit. I didn't really want that two by two flip up. I just, I didn't have a two by two photo, so I just took that off. Um, and it's you it left a little bit of residue so I'll have to try and get that off but you can see that I am reusing that card that was already in here um, so just trying to make do with what I have and but also make it my own at the same time so what I did was some journaling I did five different points I did um, that we stayed in Toronto for the night the weather was beautiful we went up the CN Tower we had Tim Hortons so I just did five different points that are highlights that I wanted to talk about from uh, when she came and I tried to embellish this page but none of my embellishments were small enough to fit on this card so I'm just going to put that in there and continue working um, and I do sew a little bit that you'll uh, see in the end I didn't do too much sewing though just because like I said a lot of this was already done uh, the base of it so there's not much you can do after that but I did do a little bit of sewing uh, but now we are going to embellish on the photos here and do, you know, some of that, make, jazz up these photos a little bit. Again, we have more views outside the hotel room. I don't know why I needed so many, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm going to do a little cluster here and I'm actually going to use these little binoculars. Uh, the adhesive I am using is all from Scrapbook Nerd as well. So I have these little foam dots that I'm using. Actually, I think I just finished up my pack and um, they're these... Um, I guess they're not dots, they're little foam squares, but they're very tiny, which is nice for little projects because sometimes it's hard to cut those little itty bitty pieces out. So I use those little binoculars and um, the foam tape, or not foam tape, um, like double sided tape. Uh, I have three different sizes from Scrapbook Nerd, which are great. It's my go to tape right now. And I have two different glues that um, she's let me play around with seeing what I like. I have mentioned, I think, a lot on my YouTube channel, or not YouTube channel, um, Instagram, about just like trying to find the perfect glue. Because, you know, glue matters. Glue, like the quality of glue matters. You want things to stick. But not only that, you want it to just be like easy to use. And um, so, yeah, I'm playing around with a couple different glues to see what I like. Um, one of them is the Nouveau glue and the other one I forget the name but those are both from Scrapbook Nerd. If you um, are looking for a glue or you know the brand you like and you didn't know that Scrapbook Nerd had it, now you know. Um, oh yes, we took photos in front of the beautiful big window as well. Loved that. Um, I kind of wish I printed more of us. Oh yeah, that one was us at the window, but you just couldn't see the view. So I just printed the one of me. It was hard because when you're doing it in front of like a window, you can, it's either you that's bright or the background that's bright. So that was a little tricky. Okay, so you can see here I am revamping this page as well. And uh, I replaced that one paper with that beautiful striped paper. I wanted to bring in some of the colors from the left hand side from that numbered um, pocket card, the one, two, three, four, five with the different journaling. I wanted to bring in some of those colors. So I felt like that striped paper had, has the pink, it has the yellow and I don't see green, but, uh, I felt that kind of tied everything together and I wanted to cover up the words on the side there. So I used that giant ticket. It was like the only thing I could find that would cover it up and I'm going to do some clustering. Now you saw me use that big explore chipboard which would have been perfect but the frame on this picture that this album already came like this frame is like very like creamy off-white whereas the explore chipboard is white. So it looked really funny in my eyes to see them against each other. I don't know. I just didn't really like it. So um, I decided to use the together instead. And uh, it's I, I wish it were bigger and more bold, but I do like at least the coloring better. So we're just going to leave it like that. Um, I love that chipboard of the suitcase, uh, so I added that in. I would really love, I'm not doing any, well, I mean, I am traveling in the fall, but I'm not doing any, like, European adventures or anything anytime soon. I'd love to have this collection for a future big trip, um, but maybe I'll use it for my road trip in, um, uh, in September. 
we're going away for a little I'm sure I'll talk about that in the future but yes we're going away so yeah I'm sure I'll have a lot of this collection to use for both of those albums so maybe I'll do that we'll see how it goes I also might use um because we are including some Disney vacation in this trip so I might also use like a Disney collection I don't know we'll see maybe a bit of both I can do both right that's possible um I love the new Simple Stories collections that are coming out that are like those Disney, like, and it's like the different lands, there's Fantasyland, and all the different lands have like a different collection, which is really cool, so I do eventually want to get that. This is some Liquitex, uh, is it paint? I don't know exactly. You could go back and pause it to see if you want to get your hands on this, but this is what I also got from Scrapbook Nerd. It's kind of a Heidi Swap Color Shine replacement because that was discontinued. I do still have some in my stash, but um, I do reach for this one as well because it it uh, is just as beautiful and bold and gold, of course, as the Heidi Swap Gold Color Shine. Um, but it's just a little bit trickier because I have to water it down a bit. But it looks just as beautiful if not more beautiful, because it doesn't leave those rings that, like, the Heidi Swap Color Shine did. Anyway, I'm surprised I filled that whole time with, um, half nonsense, half good, good information, I hope. Um, sorry about the lighting here, but anyway, this is how it turned out, so keep watching for more videos on this album. I hope you enjoyed this video and felt inspired, and yeah, have a lovely day. Bye!